Hey team, welcome back to another small business tutorial. I hope everyone is doing well and I just want to say thanks for popping along, especially if it's your first time here. Now today I'm going to guide you through how to use Grammarly to enhance your professional writing and ultimately optimize your productivity with this all-in-one free grammar checker software. Today we'll cover all the free features that Grammarly has to offer in 2021 that we believe are essential for anyone engaging in professional writing. Now, just quickly, before we jump into Grammarly, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this Grammarly tutorial for beginners. <music> Okay, so as you can see, we've arrived at Grammarly's website. Now, all you need to do is simply type in Grammarly.com in Google and you'll arrive at this web page. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, Grammarly is not just a grammar checker. It is a powerful all-in-one AI-powered digital writing assistant. And it honestly feels like you have your own writing assistant. Especially for me because my spelling is absolutely terrible. I use Grammarly all the time, every day, every hour. I should really be saying every minute, every time I'm creating blog posts, creating content on social media, creating and sending emails. I use Grammarly to ensure that my spelling is correct and I'm engaging as professionally as possible in my writing. And like I mentioned, Grammarly uses artificial intelligence to ensure that not only your spelling is correct, but you're coming up with the right sentences, you're coming across professional, and as best as you can be with Grammarly's feedback. Now, one of the best features of Grammarly's free plan is the connections with other tools. For example, if you're creating business emails in Gmail, Outlook, or professional messages in Messenger, or maybe you're communicating with your team in Slack, or Google Docs, or maybe you're creating content on social media. Grammarly works as an online grammar checker and more to make sure you're being as professional as possible and making zero mistakes when creating content. And then again, like I mentioned before, Grammarly is more than just grammar and spelling as Grammarly uses artificial intelligence to help you articulate and express what you're trying to create. Now, if we navigate back up to the top and before we get started, it's important to note that you can install and use Grammarly on any device. For example, I can go ahead and add Grammarly to Chrome, which is what we're going to do in today's tutorial, or you can add Grammarly to Safari. Depending on the browser you like to use, we prefer using Chrome. You can also download the Grammarly app on iOS and Android. And again, if you like, you can download Grammarly onto desktop, Windows or Mac. Okay, so with that introduction out of the way, let's go ahead and guide you through all the free features within Grammarly. So to do that, what we're going to do is add Grammarly to Chrome. Then just navigate over to Add to Chrome, click Add Extension, and then you'll be taken to this Account Setup page. You can see that Grammarly is installed. Here what you want to do is add your information here or come down and sign up with Facebook, Google or Apple. What we're going to do is sign up with Google because we like keeping all our products, platforms, tools all in one place. So we're going to go ahead and sign up with Google. Here we're going to select our Google account. Then Grammarly will ask some personalization questions to help you get the most out of Grammarly. Or you can come down and click skip personalization. But what we're going to do is select the best option here that represents the reason why we're using Grammarly. We're going to select work and then come down and click continue. My occupation is, I'm gonna navigate down to marketing and click continue. My company size is one to 10 employees, continue. Feel free to select the options that apply to you. Remember we're using the free version of Grammarly, which has limitations to the features you will have access to. So what we're gonna do is click spelling and grammar and clear communication and then select continue. Here you have the option to select all that apply to you. I want help identifying when I sound friendly, informative, angry, forceful, or any of these other options. For now, I'm gonna select I'm not sure and come down and click continue. Today, we're only gonna focus on the free version of Grammarly, so I'm gonna navigate down here and click continue to Grammarly. Here, I'm just gonna click skip tour 
And here you can see that we've arrived on My Grammarly. If we navigate over to the menu, you can see My Grammarly here. This is basically your Grammarly dashboard. Now, if I close this one and navigate up to our extensions, you can see that I cannot see my Grammarly extension. So I'm going to click on more extensions and come down and pin my Grammarly extension and then exit out of this one. And as you can see, I now have my Grammarly extension pinned to my toolboard. Now, if I click on the Grammarly icon, the extension, that's going to give me access to a new document, which I'm going to show you shortly. Or if I navigate over to my Grammarly, that's going to take me to my Grammarly dashboard, as you can see in front of us. And as you can see, if you've just signed up and you've followed this process, you will arrive on the demo document. This allows you to understand the basics to really getting started and making the most of Grammarly's free plan. Now, if we come down here to this demo document down here, you can see that the first word over here has been highlighted because there's an error. You can see a description about the error here. I can exit out of that one or I can select here on the text to remove that grammar issue. You can see that I have all the suggestions here. So issues, issues over here is spelled wrong. Again, I can select here and then come down and select on the right text and that's going to correct it for me. I can also do the same over here. Select this text and under suggestions, you can see the description of what is wrong and then select the green highlighted text to amend that error. Again, you can see the color code on the far right hand corner. For example, we have red, which are correctness. We have four alerts, improved spelling, grammar and punctuation. Then we have clarity, helps make your writing easier to understand. We have engagement, helps makes your writing more interesting and effective. And then we have delivery, helps you make the right impression on the reader. So it's very straightforward. Basically, we have our text here that we want to check. Then we have the suggestions over the middle. And then on the far right hand side, we have information regarding our text copy and then our overall score up here, which is based out of 100. Now, once you've taken the time to go through the demo document, it's very straightforward to understand all these different features. Then you can start playing with your own content. For example, if we navigate up onto the menu, we can come down and select a new document and paste our own copy that we want to check. We can also upload a file, download a document or print a document. Then we have other edits down here. So again, once you've navigated through the demo document, what we can do is click new document here or we can exit out of this one, navigate up to our Grammarly extension and then come down and select new document. And this is where you can go ahead and check your own documents, your own professional writing. For example, you could copy an email and add that in here before you send that email. You might be creating written content for a website. Maybe it's your website and you want to make sure that the spelling is correct. You want to make sure that it's persuasive. You can copy that from your website, add that in here. Or maybe you just want to create a letter of some form. You can start typing that here. So what I've done is actually gone to our website. I've copied a bit of text from our website. And now I'm just going to simply paste that text into this new document. Then what I want to do here is come down and click done. And just like I showed you on the demo document, this is where you can go through and correct everything on your piece of content. Again, what you want to do is come down here and select each of these underlined words to simply view the error type and then navigate under suggestions and go ahead and make those changes or you can go ahead and delete that suggestion but I'm going to go ahead and change that. I can also go ahead and select any of these suggestions and then simply click on the word to correct it just to quickly go through my content and make those changes. Again you can see your assistant on the right hand side. You also have other formatting options down on the left hand side so creating a new document, again, you can navigate up here to create a new document if you like, or you can just select on the extension and then come down and create a new document. Remember, this is a great place to be. If you have large amounts of content that you want to check through Grammarly, then all you need to do is copy and paste into the new document and then go through that process to make all those correct changes. Now we can also head back to our dashboard if we like by simply clicking My Grammarly or we can navigate up to the extension again and then come down to My Grammarly. And that's going to take you to your Grammarly dashboard where you can go ahead and click on the demo document that we first got started with 
or you can head over to your new document that you've created or uploaded. Okay, so now I'm just going to briefly show you what Grammarly looks like on different tools. So how Grammarly can help you essentially optimize your writing on email, social media and others. But today I'm just going to show you what it looks like on Gmail and then Facebook. So firstly, let's jump over to our Gmail account. Here we are on our Gmail account. As you can see, I've just gone ahead and composed a new email and then I've just pasted in the text that we're using in today's example. Remember this bit of text is from my website and as you can see we can hover our mouse over each of these words that are underlined and we can see the suggestions that Grammarly gives us. We can go ahead and we can add a comma, for example we come up to business we can fix that to businesses, we can also navigate over each of these words and dismiss or we can come down and see more information. Now we can also come down to the bottom right hand corner, this is the same with most tools and we can come down and see how your text may sound to readers or we can see additional suggestions over here you can see all the suggestions across here and then we can simply click here to essentially amend that issue or we can learn more or we can dismiss that suggestion so Grammarly provides a very simple interface when you're using Grammarly through other tools this helps you optimize your writing when it comes to engaging on other tools and platforms rather than just copying text like we've showed you earlier in this video and pasting that into a new document within Grammarly. This essentially saves you more time and helps you become more productive. Now if we head over to Facebook it's a very similar process. So we're going to quickly head over to Facebook and show you what Grammarly looks like when you're managing your writing within a Facebook post. And here we are on Facebook. Now as you can see I've gone ahead and created a new post and then I've pasted in the content that we're using in today's example. And just like I showed you in Gmail and creating a new document within Grammarly, all you need to do is hover over each of these words that are underlined and then you have options down here. Again if we come down to the right hand corner we can view additional suggestions over here. Again, we have the exact same layout here as we showed you in Gmail. This is going to be the same across all your tools. Then if we come down here again to the corner, we have see how your text may sound to readers. And then we can go ahead and we can turn off Grammarly, disable until next time, to the next visit to the site, or disable forever, or we can keep it working. We're going to keep it working. So as you can see Grammarly is very simple to use, it's very straightforward to essentially help you optimize your writing and ultimately enhance your productivity. Alright, so that is it guys for this Grammarly tutorial for beginners looking to make the most of Grammarly's free plan. Now if you have any questions about this Grammarly tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.